What's going on, everybody? Yo, welcome back, y'all. It's the Schmodown Run Back, man. It's been a minute, but I'm back here, ready to do another uh, commentary on the latest episodes of the Schmodown. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, my name is Sober Ryu, and with Shinjuku Station Podcasting and the uh, YouTube channel for uh, Shinjuku Station, which is youtube.com slash Shinjuku Station. Thanks for tuning in today, man. Um, in this episode, we're going to be watching a team match. Uh, with uh, It's going to be a, a loser splits up match, man. I, I, I hate when these happen, but they do happen. And when they do, it's heartbreaking, man, because uh, sometimes good teams end up getting forced to break up. But at least it brings stakes, man. Sometimes you got a belt on the line. Sometimes that's your ass. <laughs> and in this case, that's what it is. Um, on deck today, we've got uh, Team Six Degrees. That's Brianne Chandler with Stacy Howard uh, and Stacy Howard. They're of equal footing, not with. I'm sorry, I, I fucked up there. I apologize. Uh, they have great entrances. I love their flair. They're so good. They 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 come in with some such gusto, man. It's so. Uh, I I it would break my heart to see them break up. But uh, on the other side, we have tough beats that's two f's t u f f beats and that features perry nemiroff and of course john voiko jonathan voiko let me not let me not shortchange his name he would prefer to be called jonathan i see you i see you jonathan i i i hear you anyway um who was uh, actually featured on the uh the game of thrones after show that was on collider last season but he mostly works behind the scenes at collider and um it's cool that he got some shine on that team but whoever loses this match has to split man they have to split up and out of the two matches i do see six degrees taking this they do uh they do overall have better performances and they beat uh both perry and um well let's see brianne beat perry in a one-on-one -on -one, and uh stacy beat the shit out of uh jonathan on a one-on-one -on -one. so uh yeah man uh it's not looking too hot for tough beats man <laughs> It's not. Um, I think Tough Beats' biggest issue is that they um, they don't complement each other and where they're lacking. I think they have some of the same knowledge, and because of that, it causes uh, them to have the same blind spots. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, we haven't seen them tackle every category in the Schmodown, but uh, it's unfortunate because the performances have been hard. Some of them have been close uh, losses, but for the most part, um, still just have not been able to get the W, man. It's tough. It's, t it's a toughie, y'all. Damn. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you guys haven't done it already, go down uh, to the link down below that says uh, watch this video first. And watch the original video first. It's important you do that. Um, or if you want to watch an attendant with this video, I don't mind at all. It gives the video a view. And also when you're done watching the video, you're more than welcome to uh, thumbs up and like the video as well. And um, if, uh, if you do that, it helps to... Uh, it helps to support the video. Leave a comment too. Don't, uh, that's super important too. Um, activity on the video helps with the trend, whether it be views, thumbs ups, uh, comments, uh, when it comes to the original video over on Collider Videos. Also make sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash Collider Videos and youtube.com slash Schmoes No. And go to the Facebook group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash Schmodown. Lots of great conversations going over there about the Schmodown. Find out more behind the scenes stuff and what's coming up on the Schmodown as well by going there. And uh, I don't have much else to say, man. Let's go ahead and get into this, man. Well, actually, I do. Um, real big props to the cats over at uh, Take 3 Productions. Uh, Take 3 Productions, they recently reached out to me and several other people who react and comment on the Schmodown, uh, asking us to come on board to have a big discussion on uh, our thoughts and ideas for upcoming matches, including the Collider Collision and also the match that's popping off on the 4th of July between... Um, the Patriots versus Team Top 10. Um, that's going to be a team championship match, a little Susan, if you will, before the Collider Collision on the seventh. So um, we're going to get, on, uh, we're going to be all coming onto that show to talk about it and uh, also give our opinions on the players and all that fun stuff. And if you guys want to see that, head on over to Take Three Productions uh, YouTube channel. You'll find the link down below in the description of this video. So if you guys want to just beam right there, once the video drops, um, I'll make sure to put a link directly to the video itself. But uh, stay tuned to them on Twitter as well as over on their YouTube channel. Go there and subscribe. So that way when you when the video comes out about a discussion on the collision and upcoming matches, you guys can check that out. And much props for them for having me on board, man. I, I, I If anything, uh, I'm, I'm flattered that they would reach out to me as well as uh, many others to be on deck for that. So uh, I, I'm being noticed. Who knew? Who knew, guys? <laughs> it's exciting, though, man. Thanks a lot, man. I, I'm, 
I'm thrilled to be a part of this. Oh shit, let me uh, there we go. Let's fix that camera, man. It's a little low, man. My camera is fucking up. There we go. That's better. Uh, I got to see the top row of the pops. That's it. Don't want, don't need to see my popcorn sealer though. That's 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 a point of shame. <laughs> anyway, let's get this going. Um, let's go here. And as always, if you're going to watch this video in tandem with the original, uh, make sure to unpause it when I say one. I count down for three to one, and bam, uh, the video begins. So thank you for doing that. In the meantime, let's get it going. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, the planet home blast! Colliders. Let's go. Oh, yo, like, yo, freaking just. They have such flair in their inch, yo, six degrees. It's gonna be a shame to see them break up, man, if they lose. Tough beats, man. I don't wanna see them. I don't wanna see anybody lose this match. Fuck. Can we just have perpetual. <laughs> Yo, that Hattori Hanzo sword. Can we just have perpetual, uh. What's it called? Uh. Sudden death until just. Just. just everybody gives up? <laughs> Nobody loses! Nah, nah, this has gotta be stakes, man. You gotta, gotta go in there with something, man. Only one team comes out intact. Oh shit. Yo, that title though. Oh. Oh, yo, look at this. Yo, please. I love the green string the green screen antics. Yo, parry the gear goggles. Welcome please. <laughs> yo, yo, it's the original configuration, it's them boys. I see you. What you got for me, boys? Oxnard, man, no one wants to go there. Nobody wants to go there, bro. How dare you, Ellis? It all start. Brianne Chandler has had a just complete change of persona. She came out as we, as you can see in that clip there, in the, the, the grease out. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Cheering with her partner Stacey Howard. I'm not a fan of grease though. She just during her match. Yo, that's her best cosplay right there. I love that shit. Yo, she's. One of our, uh, our editors here, Thad, that he, she's oh, she about to cut Thad while he's cutting? And, and oh, that's fucked up. You see that Let's say she's about to stab Copster, though. Jonathan Boyko, they've both beaten a team. Yo, that's right. I gotta they say, John was looking crisp when he came out in that suit, though. And, and it's a hard, with all the teams in the league, it's hard to come back from that. That's right, and Tough Beats looking for redemption. They started all right. with one of the more incredible They need this win. One of the best they need this win more seen. than anything. But honestly, man, I think out of the two teams, I think the Six Degrees has the better, they have the better chemistry. Had a very rough they cover each other in a lot of different categories. Um, and they're looking to come back because the ultimate showdown tournament is. But I'm rooting for tough beats. Fuck it, let's go. The let's go. They're the underdog here. They're the underdog. I'll give it. I'll. I'll, I'll put my hand. I'll, I'll put my uh, lot in there. Uh, and these teams are hoping to still be around to try to I'll put my lot in their corner, man. Let's go. We're gonna hear from both six degrees and from tough beats right now. Let's go. Yo, he's got. Yo, Christian got that mummy milk. All right. Finally back. We had a strong, uh, strong start. But it's, a, it's such a shitty movie, though. Run, but it's time for us to get back on that damn set and for us to kind of maintain what we started. Yo, Perry sound like she on fire. I love this guy right here. I don't want to break up. We want to Yo, they got the Holy Spirit today? Oh, all right, I see you. We're going to make it happen. Today. Come on. Now, before oh, shit. America's favorite big body. I see you. Yes. Yo, representing Mar Marvera. Say a few things for you. Get you all to understand got the usual suspects now, on this on the shirt is going to have to break up it's just as simple as that I feel like <laughs> he, he will accept nothing you know, less when miss movies beat my teammate and stacy guessed her way to her victory oh man no, look, that, i'm looking for a little revenge yo jonathan and, you uh, sound real salty right now each member you you, you missed a lot of questions bro yes the way to victory each member of tough beats Brianna, you may need a couple right guesses stacy oh jonathan so this no, that was so simple. great Came out as Pliskin. Yo, Stacy. We'll go on into the ultimate smoke. I love me some heels. I can't help it. I can't help right it, man. At the tag team titles, because it's only right that Six Degrees has it, and also for everyone who's been wondering when is Jay getting back into this. Yeah, when, when you get down ring. When you getting in, bro? It's coming very soon. When, man? Got a few surprises in store as well. Soon but feels a little far off. Do about it, and that's nothing. And deal with it. And Damn wait, it. and wait, bro. Uh oh. Yo, Perry about the freestyle? All right, I see you. Let's go. Is this freestyle? Is this? Tough beats and we're were her notes on uh, composed before? For ourselves, we don't need Jay. Oh Six shit! Three separated from victory. Scary Perry and Vulture Boy Johnny. B. What up? Vulture Boy. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me the Vulture son. Little study groupies. You think that Bill ends? 
get to have all the fun. But let me know how this Yo, Perry put herself out there, man. Don't be fooled. She needs a production. That's what she needs. With on, on the beats. Alright? Where's no ID? Where's uh never off? You better get off. Holy shit. Where's Ali Shaheed Muhammad? Where's Premier? We're the ones to watch. We're here to set the bar. You think you're safe with your musicals too? Well, sit back and watch what we're about to do. Yo, those beer goggles, though. God damn it. <laughs> Good shit, Perry. Good stuff. Good stuff. I see you. I see you working. Performance art on both teams. They put so much. She's tweaking up those rhymes. She's working on her her cadence. How about you? All right, I see. Movie trivia. Well, obviously, I see a lot today. They, look, the, the fact that, that Tough Beats has already been beaten twice by his team. Why couldn't his team, Beats why, why couldn't Sister Reed speak for themselves? That they are going to be in Sprint, and I like the fact that Jay Washington just said his team's just here to play, and they don't even... Jay Washington's been nothing but the oh, valet right, right now. Let's Jay the valet. The Come on, Jay. I'm going to need you to, I need, I need to get you to get the W, bro. Strengths are oh, look at him just laughing. <laughs> And then you what are you, have is that a, a beef or bacon on their shirts? Yo, is that a bacon beef? Elaborate, elaborate entrances, and oh, absolutely. I, I, I expect the best entrances today. Who do you got in this? Oh, That's what man, I, this is a tough one. I mean, I, you'd have to, six, you'd six have degrees and uh, right team now, action. They've been setting the bar lately, man. They've been setting the bar fucking high. After all these weeks, huh? I wasn't showing. Oh, yeah, yo, you fucked up. You fucked up. How's your throat feel? Mug is better than the movie, right? Yo, Tom, what the fuck happened? Introducing first. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's tough beats right here? What you got for me? With a record of one win, two mm, defeats. Mm, mm, mm. Introducing I know this. Scary Perry Nemiroff and Jonathan the Vulture Boy. Woo! Team Tough Beats. Delightful musical entry. Nice. So, no, this is this is really this is some whimsical. Yeah, can't even talk today. Whimsical shit. In the Maybe not what is this? They're kind of waiting in the bathroom. I know very, very familiar music, and I know Perry Nimrod very well. And she I picks movies that she likes. Can't place this music. I know the music. I think. Is it Fox in the house? What is this no, from? It it's the very quiet. Yes, we will. Yo, Sandler. To set and achieve victory. Who is singing? Who is Perry and JB? <laughs> Who made this? <laughs> you know, on the, on the session, on the session 13 warned me there was something cringy at the top of this. This is ridiculous. You know, they put themselves out there. You know what? It's dead. <laughs> Great. I'm Nicely done. <laughs> Yo, they did spend a lot of time on this. I, I give them props. I give them props. How they gonna come out though? They got Emma. They got Roka. They got Makuga. Oh, there they go. I don't, have, I don't have any more gum. I wish I had some gum right now. I'd be chewing and popping into the mic though, so that's not cool. They did all right. They did all right. I'll give them. I'll give them four. I'll give them four. That's a lot of production. They didn't wear any costumes, but that was it was good production. Good production. Yeah, you know, they, they brought out people that had people in that involvement. Six degrees on whether or not they came out singing or lip syncing. They don't even want to. Are we doing movie trivia at some point today? Is that what this show is? I believe it Never. was, but now the intro game is on, and will it be game set match tough beats or to six degrees? Have thumbs and special in store. Well done, man. If, if that's their last entrance as a team, well they they did the they did pretty nicely for that. Oh. Yo, we know this song. Yo, it's the ladies. Yo, what hit? Oh, there we go. Oh, yo, Bane? Yo, the blackest Bane. I see. Oh, goddamn, Jay. Yo, Jay coming out swollen. So oh, shit. Yo, Brian, where the fuck did she come from? <laughs> she breaking all the rules. Oh shit! Yo, is that? Yo, it's a real rejects, a team action. Yo, they've been uh, they've been coerced. <laughs> nice. Look at them dudes. 
Oh, oh, poison oh, Ivy. A cat woman. Oh, the, oh, they're done. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Yo, they know how to do it, man. They came dressed to kill. Six beats. I mean, tough, tough beats. I was about to call them six beats. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fix my face. Beats, trying to not look flustered. Just, just nicely, nice nice hit, Joe. 4.5. 4.5. They too had uh they had choreography and uh involvement. Nice music selection. Ooh, damn. Damn Perry. Yo, mind games. I see you, Perry. Good shit. Very competitive. Perry wants to win this match very badly. They they need to fucking win this match is what they need to do. Come on, tough beats. Let's go. Let's go. Let me see you win this. You guys have been on the back foot all season. Come on. They are going to write their question down on the whiteboard. Competitors, please show the answer to the camera. Man. Say it at the same time when it is your time. I hope they spin a good category, man. That's all I got to say on, on round two. Three times during the match, you can ask. I will say that I don't know what it is, but um, the first round questions have been a slight bit easier as of recently, but. It might just be luck of the draw. And when I say easier, I think easier for myself. But usually my average, I guess, is about five questions out of eight. Let's see how I do today. Jonathan, Perry. I think we're ready. Let's go. Let's work. I'm ready. There, your first question in round one, teams, comes from the world of comedy movies. Yo, come OD? All right, there we go. 2006 film Click. Who played Morty? The mysterious Morty? man who gives Adam Sandler a remote that can control time and space. That would be motherfucking Christopher Walken, y'all. I saw Click and was oh, Morty? amused. That's not true. I I, enjoy, I like Kate Beckinsale. Watch Big, fan. Five. Big fan. I haven't seen the trailer for that movie. I've never watched Click. I heard it's actually halfway right, decent. Pens down, Brienne. Was it Christopher Walken? Yes. Good shit. I've never seen it. I said Ed Asner. Oh, fuck. Like Yo, I, I do love me some Ed Asner, though. Correct, Perry. I have Christopher Lou Grant, baby. Come on. Perry. Never going to have enough of him, man. Ed fucking Wunsler. That's all I know. Right. Shout out to anybody who knows what that character's from. Props to you. What movie starring Don Cheadle depicts oh, a man. providing shelter to Tootsie refugees against... Tootsie refugees, man. No, they, they, they don't got no Tootsie rolls, man. It's fucking Hotel Rwanda, man. Alright, so you guys need that again? Hopefully not. They nailed it. Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah, Christian struggled through that Hutu militia. <laughs> it's alright. There's some words I can't fucking read. That's correct. Stacy. Hotel Rwanda. Correct. I need to get hooked on phonics. I spelled it wrong, but... Hotel Rwanda. Yeah, that's, that's good, okay, though. So there we Close go. enough to accept. Four to three. Four to three. Tough All right. Getting Tough beat, man. Points, keep close pursuit. Oh. The, uh, the clown horn. Your moment will come. <laughs> All right. Move on to the world of animation. These are movies that are drawn. What Disney villain has no a for furs, smokes incessantly, and hates dogs? Oh, you know who this is. Yo, it's Glenn Close. I mean, Cruella de Vil. John Roca, I think, likes animals. He's getting a cat. I think he hates yes. animals. Yes. He mentioned that on, uh, John Roca mentioned Three, that on Outlaw Nation. Two, one, that he's thinking about getting a cat. Cruella de Vil. Yes. Cruella de Vil. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cruella de Vil. Come on. Come on, John. Let's go. That's what I'm talking go. about. Coop de Vil. That's not going to get old anytime soon. All right. In the category of action adventure. How many Yo, Ellis. films have been released in theaters? Is there have been four. Getting a cat, or did you did you just tell me? No, that? I think that is actually true. He bought a cat. No, he's thinking about it. Think I, about I, it. I'd advise him not to. Yeah, well, yeah I advise him not to either. But for the cat, or for as a person who has two cats, both. poor Five. kitty. Get a dog. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pens down and Perry Nimrod. I am going with the number six. That no, be that'd be Rocky uh, movies. Again. I'm going with not four. including uh, John, Creed. Four. That's correct, yep. Stacy. Three, okay, 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 okay. Right now is Same difference. Has not missed. This movies has not missed. Pitching All right. a perfect this game movies is knocking it out. Movies. Oh shit. Who starred opposite Mel Gibson as Jimmy Shaker, an NYPD Ooh. detective turned kidnapper in the 1996 film Ransom? Who was it? Yeah, might have given away the ending of that movie a little bit. Oh, you might have yeah. spoiled it, bro. The question might be a little bit oh, of a spoiler fuck. for who's not yet seen the 1996 film Ransom 5. I've seen it. That's where Mel I want to say it's Lieutenant Dan, but what's his real name? Fuck. 
one. Brianna. Gary Sinise. My dad. Hi, dad. No, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I guess again, Ed Harris. Incorrect. Damn, yo. Yeah, no doubt, right? I also guessed Ed Harris. What the <laughs> fuck? Was Ed even in that movie? Nothing. I didn't remember. Oh, no. Looking for Luke. Lieutenant Dan. That's what all I remember for that movie. Yo, there's hey, man. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Why didn't you ask who plays Lieutenant Dan then? That's yeah. Because <laughs> that wasn't the <laughs> question. Oh, wow. Good, good, good afternoon. Good evening. And, and good night. That is the Truman Show. What's your favorite That's a really good movie, man. It's, it's understated, man. It was it was yeah, a hit that year, but... Movie where he has operational legs? I wonder, though, if it's I dated. I haven't seen it since the theaters, man. Four, like the CSI. I truly enjoyed it, though. I was uh Jim Carrey's heyday. No. Definitely Damn. Damn, uh, Jonathan. That's correct. Oh yeah, good shit. Oh Perry, what the? The Truman Show. That was a big, big swing and a miss. And they they cursed Brienne with that uh oh he has she hasn't missed a question yet. Commentators curse. God damn you, Ellis. In the film Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, Christian, I'm not sure who said it. In his shop. Oh, what the fuck? All right, so get this. Yeah. I don't fucking know. New York, right? but she's Beer? A girl at heart. <laughs> Guess what? She goes home. So you know it. She falls in love. Oh, my God. Who knew? <laughs> okay. Five. Yo, Zany. Yo, Four. Candy, bro. He sells I candy. I don't actually know. I have never seen that movie. I've seen the trailer, and I can't remember. And Stacy. Um, there's a couple ways you can answer this. I said glass, but it's like dishes. It's like that's when the correct. lightning strikes. That's correct. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Right. Okay, fine. Okay, oh, it's closer than I was. That real clothing. Oh. Right. Well, glass. That's correct. Can't say I knew the answer. Oh. Wow, so there you go. That's right. The answer is glass. Mr. Glass, man. He blows glass, which okay. is better than blowing strangers. The oh, shit. Yo, L, L is goddamn. Well, there goes the family. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Six degrees. Here we go. Six degrees. Eleven to six. And the we just got rated R. Category of horror slash thriller. <gasps> Who played Susie Toller in the 1998 thriller Wild Things, along with Denise Richards and Matt Dillon? She just came up recently in the news because she's going to be in that um that towering inferno skyscraper whatever movie that The Rock is doing. It's Nev Campbell, you know, Sydney from Scream. It's Nev Campbell. I saw it in the theaters too, man. And I was blinded by Kevin Bacon's dick. I, I didn't want to see that shit. Oh my god. Why did they do that to us? Huh? Ben, ben, Kevin Bacon's dick. I think there was a movie where we saw Ben Affleck's dick. I just. It's, it's, it's enough. It's enough, guys. We, we understand you got you got sizable penises. We don't need to see them, alright? We, we just don't need to see them. Alright, willing to fold? Take it easy. Take it easy on me, please. All right. Get six questions Put that shit away. <laughs> Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you God can to multiple choice. At which point, the value of the question goes down to one point. If you don't like the category, you spin it first. All right, here we go. A mulligan, which is golf That's where I may make all the difference, man. Sadly, Tough Beats is behind spend, by a lot. God category. damn. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing in round two. Yeah, 15 seconds to answer the question. It's not and insurmountable, though. They can, they can, they can get caught up, points, depending points, on if they could steal. Would you guys like to go first or second? We'll yep, thank you. All right, Stacey, give it a big spin, please. Frame advantage. All right, that's All right so on the board, we do have uh, you know, um, opponents and players' choice, so that's good. Maybe, do we have romantic movies on there? Mm -hmm. do we have, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, 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 90s. That's a broad category. Right, six degrees. Do you guys like the category? That is super the broad. Was it a good decade for you? We're going to spin again. Gonna spin again. Okay, good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Right. It's a very broad category. Oh. Oh, I see you. I see you. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, you listen to Brian Davids from the uh, wow. Schmodown Rundown. He says to do that. I just say roll it in the other direction. Woo! What? That's bad advice. God damn. Yo, Christian. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, damn. Yo, that fucking top, that, that pie piece got fucked up. That's a fair category. I decided to get these. That's fucking hilarious, though. Here we go. Holy New shit, releases. don't listen to Brian Davis. That's fucked Question up. Yo, Brian, I'm sorry. In 2016, <laughs> 
Snowden. Damn. Who played the lead role of Edward Snowden? That'd be Joseph Gordon Joseph Levitt. Gordon Levitt. There you yeah. go for two points. Wow. JGL. Perfect unison. That's oh damn, nice they, they, they they look like they were of mu one mind. What song do the boys shoot their first? I need to watch this movie. The riddle of the model. Wow. Wow. Street, in full, right? that is. Tough beat, starting to rethink. That I've seen some of it now. Question number three: In Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Oh, played the nefarious. Fucking um. Oh my God! Two men played him actually. Colin Farrell. Farrell, yeah. Two more points. Wow. Also partially played by Johnny Depp, though. I have never heard less name, confidence out of an Yeah, I had to dig deep for that one. Uh, question number. But they got it before I did, so I can't. I can't take any credit. Oh, Kevin Hart. Snowball the bunny in the secret oh. life of pets. Kevin Hart. Yep. <laughs> nice, nice. Good shit. Well, they are sniping these questions the fuck question on up. Question number five. No multiple choice yet. Who played Judah Ben Hur? Oh, in that's um. Sixteen's Ben Hur. Jack um, Huston. Yeah. We'll yeah. Huston, Huston. Yeah, we'll Huston, yeah it's we'll it's same difference. That. Hold on, that's his name. What's it's, how it's pronounce it? Not his name. It's Jack Huston. Huston Huston he, spelled H U. His last name spelled H U S T O N. Huston Huston Yeah. Absolutely not. No. Yo, yo, Stacy, Stacy ain't trying to hear no challenge. Yo, they threw down the yellow flag, y'all. You know what? She's right though. She knows how to spell it. That's not too bad. Because Houston, the conventional right, spelling is H O U S T O N, but it's H Houston with just without the O. Oh, the first O. Yeah, I think they should get that answer because Stacy clearly knew the name. Yeah. My man Richard from Boardwalk Empire, guys. Ben Hur sucked. Oh, did it suck? Holy shit. What were they thinking? What? was the subtitle of 2017. Ooh, they all run together, but it's Blood Wars. I only know this because I just saw the poster the other day. Blood Wars. The bloodiest of wars. Nope. That's the third one. I think that's the fourth. The evolution, I think, is the second. What? No, Awakening. Oh, yeah, Awakening's the second one. Evolution's the... Awakening. No. Oh, Evolution's the fourth one, but Blood Wars is the latest one. Rise of the Likings, Awakening, Blood Wars, Evolution. C, man. Come on, get this. You need it. You need it so bad, it's not oh, even it's funny. Not. Uh, C. That's correct for Good one shit. Six degrees had an incredible round there, and for they, getting an opponent. It's the only one I haven't seen. I just I opted out because I seen one through four, and it's like, uh, I'm good. I'm done. Same thing for Resident Evil. I fucking passed on that shit too. The latest one. I'll probably eventually see them, but not in the theaters. You lost that privilege. Put out so many bad films. It's like I'm done. Same thing with Transformers. It's like fuck it. I'll wait till home video. Woo! What a pick! What a selection! Get something you both are strong in. Please. Please get something you both are strong in. Y'all had to look at the wheel. Y'all gotta... Hopefully they get to see the wheel before the game so they know if they get spinner's choice or opponent's choice to know which one they're gonna pick. Oh, fuck. What is the name that is given to the bird-like creature in Up? Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Perry Nemiroff. I've seen we up enough times. Tough beats. Perry <laughs> that was a good one. Holy out. shit. Your next question. What does the abominable snowman offer to make for oh, Mike shit. and Sully in Monsters, Inc. after they've been banned? Oh, snow cones, yeah. Perry Nemiroff points. Perry Nemiroff. Her. Picks up. They're out of range. They're out of range right now. Going again. Who I gotta dig up my copy of Monsters, Inc. Oh. Who does? Body Hunt. Oh shit, that's right, that's right, that's right, you got it. She's on the fucking, she's, she's playing the best game of her life right now. Good shit, let's go, Perry. <laughs> yo, yo, Voiko said, fuck it, I'll, I'll let her take all the fucking weight. Let's go. Oh, it only takes a moment from Hello, Dolly. Don't ask me how I know this. <laughs> My mom watches a lot of musical, yeah. She watches a lot of musicals, yeah. So tough beats now has come back. I do love the sound of music though for that reason though. The sound of music is awesome. Two more questions in this Say, think of me of you, uh, think of me as you will. But I do love me some sound of music. Oh shit. That was a fucking dark moment in Pixar history. 
That's a gazer beam, dude. Whew, I fucking love that movie. I hope part two is so much on the same level as part one, man. Don't fuck up the Incredibles, please. Mm -hmm. Yo, gazer beam, man. Optic blast! Omega optic blast! There you go. Good shit, good shit. One point is better than none. Better than losing two points to the other team. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. points being scored in round two. Your last question. From which Pixar franchise is this quote? Authority should derive from consent of the governed, not from the threat of force. I want to say this from Toy Story. As crazy as that sounds, I don't remember who said it, but I want to say it was Buzz Lightyear. Can you get a repeat on that? From which Pixar That's Toy Story. Franchise is this quote from? Authority should derive from consent of the governed. And franchise is the huge clue there because there's only a few franchises. There's Monsters, there's Cars, there's Toy Story, and there's Flight Finding Nemo. I don't expect it to be in any other ones. It's got to be Toy Story. B, Finding Nemo. C, Cars. Or D Monsters Inc. Yes, A. Oh fuck! Don't lose, don't lose a point to the fucking other team. Oh my god! Please. That is incorrect. Damn. What was his answer, though? Uh, you We can't tell you what they answered. We can tell you the options again. You gotta be listening. Options are A Toy Story, B Finding Nemo, C Cars, or D Monsters Inc. Here we go. Uh, A. That Son of a bitch! God damn! The point differences are going to be almost the same. Yeah, that was a big steal. Damn! Be hard to fucking cover that distance. They literally need to get all three questions right to have a, even a, a vague shot at this. Almost. Yeah. I gotta say. Is where fates get decided. Shout out to John for spinning so well. The highway to Barstow for all of eternity in round three. Each one of the teams what? is going to give us a number, a series of numbers ranging from. He said number. Yo, like it's from Boston. I see. I see you, Ellis. You've been hanging out in Bean Town. Not telling nobody. Uh, six degrees. You are in the lead, so you guys will pick the three numbers. Put an AH at the end. Six. Sixteen. Oh shit. Wow. How did you know which number? Out of order, but all <laughs> even. That's it. that's that's wrong. That's what you gotta mix up the values, all right? Odds and evens out of order. Thirteen and seven. Not as in sync as six degrees, but still. Out I guess in reverse order, but all odds. Damn, it's like y'all both wanna lose. Terrible. And also avoid being Dispense. I'm superstitious. That's I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> right, so blown up. So for category, uh, he knows the terminology. I see. What they chose first. That would be the category of action adventure. Okay. Good shit. There? Come on. I'll, I'll give it to John. I give it to Jonathan. You cannot consult on the two or the three pointer. Once you hit yeah. the five pointer, you are allowed to talk to him. All right. In the category right, cool. of action adventure. Come on. How many get... total RoboCop films? Woo! Oh, really what a trick question. Action. Four. Four fucking. Three? No. Incorrect. The answer is four. Damn it. Original trilogy and one remake. Yeah. Uh, I was so, thinking the remake. Yep. Right. So yeah, that, that's Perry a trick Carole question, man. That's fuck. Jonathan didn't take time to think about that one. Yeah, yeah man. So then you're gonna when the question is simple like that, think about it before you speak. Uh, it's, it's some of the best best advice I could give you in that. All right, Perry Nemeroff. Give anyone who's playing the game. Six degrees will win via TKO, and tough beats will be... Eliminated from the league. Who gets custody of the clown? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So All right. Let's go, Perry. You got this. You got this. Perry, here you go. You've been on fire the whole game. Come on. Lost best director for Goodfellas. Oh. What famous actor turned director in 1991 for? This is easy, man. That's Kevin Costner for uh, Dances with Wolves. I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna say Clint Eastwood. No. Think a moment. God damn. Sucks. I don't know what to say. Uh, that, 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 uh, damn. Thank you. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. Oh, look at the boy. They didn't even have to work. <laughs> they left. That's a fucking crowd. Didn't have to answer one question in the final round. Fuck. Now, can I say something about Tough Beats, though? Is it Tough Beats? Such an 
Damn. They had a good performance this match. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. She knows her Pixar. If you ever come across Perry Nemiroff in some CD bar somewhere in the Midwest, <laughs> do not challenge The Midwest? It's a sad day for a lot of people, though, too, because Tough Beats, when they entered the, the league last year, they came out on the stream, they knocked out... Yeah, they were rookies of the year. Jeopardy. And everyone thought they, they beat a guy from Jeopardy. They won yeah. faces, they baby faces. They had a strong and start, and man, but rough, rough they, have, here, and they have had a rough road ever since. Who has been the downfall of Tough Beats. And what happens next with Perry Nemiroff and Jonathan Boyko? Do they keep competing? We're going to hear from... I hope they do, man. Six degrees and... At least Perry's got movie movie fights. She seems to really uh, uh, excel at that. Look at this asshole! <laughs> Yo, shout out to Emma in that boo shirt, man. She's got so many boos. She's booing us. Ever so quietly. That six degrees would cause Tough Beats to split up and break up. It's a tough loss for Tough Beats. Oh. <laughs> No one's gonna argue. No, no. Terrible. Round one, Brienne destroyed. Round two, Stacy demolished. They didn't even have to go to round three. Damn. Do you know what that means? I've said it before, and I will say it again. This is the Six Degrees has reinvented themselves, man. It's uh, it's good to see that they they got a lot of heat, man. That's so good, so good. I can't hate them. I can't hate them. I love these love these ladies, man. Good shit. <laughs> the Lions did. Team action. The <laughs> Patriots. It doesn't matter. Do you see people oh, Jay, being Jay be popping off? Oh, I am even his win. Right now. <laughs> I mean, don't you see my excitement? I do see your Yo, he's excitement hyped. and nobody's going to argue that Six Degrees Mike looks so tiny in his hands. Fantastic showing today, but... Guys, I'm going to need you to use better synonyms. It was amazing. Yo, you, you cracking on him a synonym game? <laughs> Now you can What's next, homonyms? Terry Deborah, Jonathan Boyko, <laughs> tough beats have been dismissed. Damn. I mean, that's true, but then there's nothing else you know, to the, say, people, ladies. I'm going to have fun. The I'm synchronicity. The celebration. But people <laughs> love Terry and Jonathan. You guys, I mean, that's not the Hennessy, bro. Fantastic work today, but you did eliminate a team that. That people really love here in the Schmodown. Do you guys feel any well, remorse? Well, maybe they should have studied a little bit harder oh, so people damn. can love them more. But Ouch. unfortunately, that's how it works. Oh, you got to work. I, you don't know your stuff, you're out of here. You're out of here. You got I to go. I can't argue with that. Oh, yo, Stacey, what's Stacey going to say? What you got for me, Stacey? I mean, Perry tried to come after me today with the challenge. Huston, Houston, however you want to say it. I still knew the answer. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> Stacey didn't even know how to spell I, it, which is yeah. more than I can yeah. say about people here in the Schmodown on a regular basis. So. Oh, shit. I congratulations, six degrees. I'm I'm proud to see how far you've come. I was a waste of a challenge, I gotta sure say. About this this attitude shift that it's like seems um to have happened. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well we'll be right back with It's uh, like Jared TV. Leto or Jared Leto, you know, it's, it's the same name. You just, Jonathan, or, or Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot. We know who you're talking about. For a little bit of a tough loss today. <laughs> Now, listen, we can't get all the names pronounced right, but if there's like multiple Jack Houston's out there or Huston's out there, then I would I would have reason favor. to argue I've that. But he's really the only one. I mean, never did I expect those to be. That's known in Hollywood anyway, right now. But you know, so so it goes. I, you know, in hindsight, obviously, I would have chosen something different on the wheel. The mentality was that they would get some wrong and we would steal them because I know. New oh, when it comes, well, yeah, when it comes to um. When they had spinners, Absolutely. they got spinners' and choice I and they got opponents' choice. Really That's pretty, with that pretty Pixar nice. Category. That was very yeah, they, they could have picked the a different Pixar category. One, that, that felt pretty good. If the, horror was on the wheel, I, they should have picked horror, but I guess they were, were hoping to get it for themselves. So especially that last one, I was, you know, I was. I did take note that it was on the wheel, though it may not been there. Answer, but at the same time, it's it's hard with movie quotes for any any genre out there. Yeah, I yeah. understand. There's not your brain doesn't immediately go, oh, there's a quote about government in Toy Story. <laughs> all right. How are you feeling after the match here? You know I just vaguely remembered it as all. Um, I'm not that happy. I gotta be honest. Yeah. Uh, I, thought we I think Ella said it was on Toy better. Story 3. In fact, it's a bitter pill to swallow that they beat us in singles, and then they were the ones to send us on our way as a team. Um, but uh, I'm always looking to the future. Now, I'm mm. not giving up. Mm. I, I know this one should not give up. I'm so proud of her performance. Yo, today. my man, Jonathan is... I'm, it was an he's honor hurt. to be her teammate. 
and I Damn. think she's got a lot of promising. Now you, you gotta get a divorce, you. man. That I think sucks. You guys both actually are very promising. You had a really strong start back in 2016. Damn, and man. You've just you've had a tough year. So that's why so I hate I hate these outcomes, man, because it forces forces to people who are used to working with each other to uh for new teammates. to be broke up, man. Oh, it's hard to think about looking for a new teammate. Because, I know, right? You know, I'm losing. We got some free agents out there, man. You got McCoogans. You got McCoogans? You got, um... Who oh, else? You got Bibbs? So many heavy hitters stuff. out there. You can it's find been somebody. It's a really fun ride. So even though we are breaking up, I mean, the Tough Beats matches are some of my best memories at Collider. And Good shit. He, he's going to go on. He's going to play singles. And he's going to he's gonna kill some competition there. I appreciate it. No, we are going to we are gonna focus you on... Gotta our, find, you got to find players still, that complement where you're and, uh, weakest. You can do that. And, then you're going to... Be in a much better team. Grown to two next new time. teams that are, you know, have have that. Fine players that are slightly that older than you guys. Well, everybody certainly at least. still loves you here, Team Tough Beats. Even if you guys are no longer a team, I'm sure that we'll continue to see fantastic things out of each of you guys individually in the future. And who knows? Maybe if you go on and conquer the singles, a Tough Beats reunion could be in there hey, somewhere hey, way man. down the line. So uh, when they do these sorry, matches, it should be like a. Uh, should force today. you to be apart for like a year, held high. and then you have the chance to come we back as that team. Wish you all the best. Oh, <laughs> maybe there'll be a go. team redemption match for players who <laughs> have been ousted on those You're teams, welcome. and no, they have a chance to you. come Hard back together as a team to be renewed in the well, league. That would be kind of cool too. A lot of laughing and dancing and singing and celebrating. Us. Oh, like like the Wangers when the Wangers got divorced. That still hurts me to this day, man. Cops have shaved his beard, man. He's so broke up, man. He's freshly shorn in his face, man. That's fucked up. He's supposed to keep the beard, man. Beards united, bro, at Collider. Griffin, Copster, RB3. Got to keep the beards intact. I can't grow one efficiently, man. I'm envious, man. They don't know what's next. They don't know what's you motherfuckers next. just shaving They're your beards like, like it ain't nothing, man. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It. Uh, they didn't like losing Griffin, keep that shit. Again, your beard is beautiful. Makuga. Makuga's beard be popping off. I see you. I see you, bro. Oh, shit. Yo, one of my favorite thumbnails right there. Look at him. Got everybody in the gang. Double toasted on the side. I see you. Oh, shit. Ken, the pit boss snaps up. My brother in Robotech. I see you. I love this guy. It's a great show, by the way. Check that out, man, on the Facebook group, man. Go there, join the conversation, man. Yo, watch it. Oh, the orange kerchief. It's getting hot, man. Ellis is red faced, man. He's getting flustered. Top 10. And then finally on July 7th. My birthday. Woo! Oh, shit. Happy birthday, Ellis. Big matches going down, including the triple threat match for the championship. The All right. Champion, I've been waiting for this. I have been waiting just for you. That is Christian Harlock. Stop talking. All right. Josh McCougan, tell us about fantasy stats. Who shut Christian down? Damn. What's up? Move the It's Josh McCougan here with the. I was hoping he'd stay in the outfit. Yes. <laughs> McCougan's the clown. The horn man. Oh, oh, oh. I had a great second round, scored a bunch of points. Now, if you don't have them, you, don't you can just see Cody's head just bobbing. <laughs> yeah. Now they're going to be going up against tougher teams. Oh, shit. Yo, look at Cody with that fucking. Oh, the malicious look. Cody's up to no good with uh with Ricky, man. Oh shit, here we go. Yo, Rick. What are you scheming, Rick? What are you doing? I don't trust you, bro. Hey guys, if you like this it's up to no fucking good, man. I guess we'll find out the big reveal at Collision, man. What's going to happen? 
It'll help you stay up to date with well, Ricky, man. Ricky got me. Ricky got me. Uh, he got me. He got me shook, man. What's going on? God damn it, Rick. Oh, you know, this is the wrong panel. There we go. There we go. That's the ticket. So that wraps up a great match between Tough Beats and Six Degrees. It's a shame. Uh, but RIP Tough Beats, man. It was a it was a hell of a run. Uh, unfortunately, there was only one win amongst y'all. And uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you guys will find uh, stronger partners that will be able to help uh, elevate your game. And uh, hopefully, you guys will uh, study up, man. Watch some more movies. Watch movies out of your comfort zone. Do that, man. Watch movies out of your genre that you're used to, man. Do that. I need to see it. I need to see that shit. But um, props to you guys, man. But also, shout out to Six Degrees. Um, I'm glad to see that team hasn't broken up because uh, both um, Brienne and Stacy, they both do that podcast, Six Degrees of Film. So um, I'd hate to see them get broken up because they've been, you know, rocking it together outside of this to see them. They can't compete together would be a shame, especially since uh, old Stacy turned uh, heel along with the girls. So uh, to see that team get broken up would have just been a waste. Oh, wait, and they played a strong ass game. You see the high points, man? Yo, put Makuka to shame. Damn. Damn. They, they just gave us all a big middle finger. They said, fuck all y'all. I'm out. So, uh, I looks like I lost this one. I was rooting for Team uh, t team Tough Beats, and uh, I get to hold that L close to the chest. But, you know, I sometimes got to root for the underdog, despite the odds. But uh, anyway, man, thanks a, thanks a lot, guys, for checking out this episode. Uh, again, uh, I'll be doing the next episode in, in a little bit uh, with uh, Clark Wolf versus Mark Ellis. Hope you guys will tune into that. That's going to be an exciting match. I'm rooting for Clark, man. Can't wait to see her win that shit. I know she doesn't uh, she doesn't have a lot of faith in herself sometimes when she's up against strong opponents, but I think I think she's I, I think she's just as good as Mark, and I, hopefully that'll come out and uh, show itself during the match. Yo, look at baby carrots right there. Yo, he's ready to go. Yo, oh shit, is that John Claude Van Damme? Oh fuck. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Brian Ward. He makes the best posters, man. That's what's up. But uh, before you uh. Before you head out, uh, make sure to check out these websites when you have time. Reddit.com slash r slash Schmodown. That's the home for the uh, Schmodown Reddit. Uh, you can find the latest uh, schedules for upcoming matches, plus a lot of conversation going on about matches, some behind the scenes stuff too, for the Schmodown. Also check out Inside Schmodown with the Pit Boss on Facebook, on the Facebook group, which is facebook.com slash group slash Schmodown. Um, also, uh, search your podcast app for Schmoes No and subscribe. Don't sleep, man. There's a lot of great podcasts on there. We're talking about the Schmodown Rundown. Great after show talking about the most, uh, what's popping off in uh, this week of the Schmodown. Also, Outlaw Nation, which is becoming fa my fast favorite podcast, man. Hosted by uh, John Roca. He talks about all sorts of stuff, whether it be movies, TV, politics, all that stuff, man. Make sure you don't miss an episode. Uh, also, you can watch these podcasts over on YouTube YouTube.com slash Schmoes No Podcast, the SK Plus channel. And um, over on Twitter, follow these uh, different uh, different Twitters. Uh, Collider Video, Schmoes No, Christian Harloff, SD Rundown, underscore Schmodown underscore and also make sure to check us out check my uh my group shin station out over on shinstation.blogspot.com and also if you're not if you're not watching this on the youtube channel if you're watching this through an embedded link or somewhere uh make sure to check my channel out at youtube.com slash shin station and i uh, thank you guys for doing so man uh in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up but i will see you guys on the next video thanks again for watching the schmodown run back this is your boy sobo ryu and i'll see you guys next time peace you mustn't run away you're looking at the most advanced weapon system ever developed by man you must confront your father either we stop that angel i mustn't run away the synthetic humanoid Evangelion. and you must confront yourself or humanity's future ends here this is unit one vice command we confirm the target is coming online understood all personnel to battle stations condition one terminal signal front ejecting now ejection confirmed inserting entry fire psychological contamination is within the standard range Ikari, are you sure this was the right thing to do? Retracting umbilical bridge. Disengage lock bolt. Release confirmed. Current status. Unit 1 is free. Internal batteries fully charged. I must have run away. Transfer Ava Unit 1 to the launch pad. Launch it! I must have run away. I must have run away! Fine, I'll do it. I'll be your pilot. Ready?
I am an enforcer, man. Don't nothing go down in my house. It's 100% hard, baby. Sure, I jack a few fools. I give them the pain. But sometimes it's about intimidation, you know. <laughs> it's mind games. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> Ah! Take razor! Take razor! Get ready for the pain, woman! The pain!